Good morning, my friends. Thanks for joining me today for another treasure hunt. I've brought you to South Carolina, and today we're gonna to be hunting the Isle of Palm Beach. Um, I'm entering the beach at kind of an off of the beaten path point, and then we're gonna head down to the super busy touristy area. Um, it'll be a two part video today. So I'm gonna do the dry sand for the first part of the day. And then I have a surprise for you guys. I got a waterproof GoPro. So about halfway through or toward evening, we're gonna switch over to water gear and I'm taking you guys into the water with me today to see if we can find anything out in the surf. So anyway, you guys, um, it is super hot here at the beach today. It's like 93 degrees or something. So I've got my sunblock on. I know you always worry about that. Um, so I'm not actually sweating. I'm just really sunblocked up. Anyway, I'll show you a quick view of the beach and I'm gonna finish getting my gear on and we will get started. All right, so I have been swinging for probably an hour. <laughs> Finally, just now I've got my first target um, kind of pretty close to one of the boardwalks. So we're gonna see what we got. Okay, I got it in the scoop. Oh, the sand is pretty wet. It didn't look wet. Oh, please don't be that. <laughs> I'm afraid it's gonna be that piece of foil, unless there's something else in here. Yep, that was it. Okay guys, I have a nice loud target here in the wet sand. Uh, so we're gonna see what we have and how many scoops it takes. Okay, we did not get it there. Okay, second scoop was a winner. I don't know if that's it though. Ah, here we go. Got a quarter for that target. Okay, my friends, I've actually got two targets here. They're about a foot apart. Um, so we're gonna start with the first one. This is very loud. Let's see what we have. Okay, we got it first scoop, I do believe. Okay. And looks like we got another quarter. Let me fill that in real quick and we'll move right over to our next target here. Actually, I'm wondering if I might actually even have three targets. Hmm. Okay, we got it. There it is. Uh, looks like this one's gonna be a dime. So we got on the little coin spill, I guess. Um, let me just see though, if there might even be something else here. Hold on. Yep. There. So we have three targets.
will this one be a coin or will I get lucky and get a piece of jewelry? There it is. Oh, it actually just fell right out. It's another dime. Oh, a dime. <laughs> okay, let me fill this in and I'm just going to sweep one more time here and just see if there's anything else right in this area. Since we had three right in a row. Okay guys, well, I think it was all for right here. We'll keep going. Just a little ways from the coin spill I was working on, I have got three more targets. So we're gonna see what else we have here. Or maybe it's jewelry. A girl can hope. <laughs> Third scoop was a charm. Oh, there it is. And looks like it's going to be probably another quarter here. Yep, another quarter. Continuing my coin spree. Okay, then. There's our next one. Got it. Oh, here it is. Never mind. Another quarter. Hey, I'm going to be able to buy my lunch soon at this rate, right? Okay, let's get that filled in. And there should be one more here. First scoop was a charm. What do you think? Another quarter? That seems to be the coin of the day. It's a nickel this time. All right. I'm going to sweep this area a little bit more, see if we got any more here. Well, just when you think you got all the coins from a coin spill, there's one more. Let's see what it is. Got it on the first scoop. There it is. It's like a dime this time. All right, my friends, I'm on to another target here. Let's see what we have. Still in there. You know, it occurs to me, I forgot to tell you guys at the beginning of the video, I usually talk about my equipment, but I'm not sure I did. So today I'm using my Fisher CZ21 Quicksilver, which is a machine that is waterproof to 250 feet. We got it, second scoop. Also using my favorite CKG sand scoop. It's my go-to. Okay. I think that's it. 
also have my Fisher F Pulse 10 pointer. And yeah, I know it drives some of you crazy that I use my pin pointer on the beach, but this is a personal preference. It makes it a lot faster for me. And we got a shiny penny. Okay, on to the next. Okay, so I'm out here in the wet and I actually have a target. It's amazing how rare it is to get a target in the wet here at this beach. But we actually do have something. Oh, <laughs> it's hanging out on my scoop. Looks like it's gonna be some kind of jewelry probably. Thank you. All right. Come in so I can show you guys this without the waves taking my stuff. <laughs> so it looks like a bracelet. Looks like natural stones like agate. And so we had a couple of uh, metal beads there. I'm sure not precious metal, but that's our first jewelry of the day. Did y'all see how hard <laughs> I had to work for that target? I might as well show you what it was. <laughs> it was not jewelry. <laughs> it was a dime. Okay guys, well, I had a nice lunch break. I'm back out on the beach. I'm working the dry sand for a little bit, but you guys will see I've got my GoPro on, so we're gonna be headed into the water pretty soon. But anyway, we have a target here in the dry sand. First scoop did not do it. <laughs> but the second scoop did. All right. And looks like it's gonna be a penny. Shield penny. Well guys, so far it's been very quiet out here in the water. Um, I had only one target so far and ended up losing it because people came and stood in the spot and talked to me for a long time so I did not get that target and I'm just out here trying to find something surprisingly quiet out here though I sort of imagine with so many people out swimming at the beach that I would be finding a little bit more than what I have oh well see a big wave got me. <laughs> um, what I was going to tell you guys is um, you don't hear many water detectors actually talk about this, but um, it is really hard to detect out here um, because of the resistance of the water on your machine. Like swinging is really tough. one of those things where you know you detect in the water for 20 minutes then you go hit the dry sand for 20 minutes to give your wrist a little bit of a break um, of course it might be a little bit easier if you could find like a peaceful inlet where the tide is not pounding the way it is here but I'm not sure about that <laughs> Okay guys, I've got a signal here that is actually odd. Um, it's got a medium tone and a high tone. I almost wonder if it could be two things. So we're gonna have a go. Um, I've just come in, I've been out in the surf for probably at least an hour, 
it's just really rough surf so I didn't find anything I decided to take a rest and hunt in the dry sand for a bit hmm. it's interesting the high tone's gone but the medium tone is still in there so let's just see no okay could just mean that we moved our target onto its side or something All right, I do think we have it out. Um, I'm just going to dump this out though and use my pinpointer because I'm really too tired at this point to do a bunch of shaking after being out in the water. So yeah, I know, I'm being a wimp, <laughs> but I'm tired. Ah, uh, well, okay, it was a tiny little screw <laughs> okay on to the next all right guys so the beach is finally clearing out and i'm starting to work the towel line although a good chunk of the beach was towel line today anyway have another signal and there it is oh come check it out it's an earring. Okay guys, I am on to a nice mid-tone. See what we got. Okay, and looks like we got it first scoop. Or maybe, yeah. Alright. It kind of feels like it might be an earring. Sort of feels like a post. Yeah, I think it might actually be an earring of some kind. <laughs> oh, I can't tell what. But yeah, it's an earring for sure. Still got the back on it. Oh. What a disappointment. It was laying like that with sand in the middle. It almost looked like a gold ring. <laughs> so, I know you guys are going to ask why I have this tied on my elbow. So the deal is, um, I detected all day yesterday and all day today. And when the salt water gets on your skin like where I've been out in the water then the sand just like totally sticks to it and so it gets in here and it just grinds so basically my elbow is almost bleeding so I have put this on to stop the sandpaper effect okay guys latest target is here um, right at the edge of the water so we are gonna see it's a nice loud high tone Hey, first scoop did not get it. Oh. Still down there. Well, I believe we just found someone's eye watch. Yep, that was our signal. Somebody lost their Apple Watch out here. So, sucks for somebody. Those are not cheap. Uh oh. Okay, got a target here at the edge of the water and I think I have it out. Let's see. Yep, we got it. The water's gonna try and take it. I'm 
starting to lose light. It's getting harder to see things. Whew. But I kept hold of it. I actually really can't even tell what this is. Maybe it shows up better on the camera than uh, what I can see. Okay, my friends, this is the wrap up video for the Isle of Palms hunt. I'm gonna, of course, start with my trash. I had um, three pull tabs, one bottle cap, a screw, some type of, I don't know, a connector. Not sure what that was, MFA, just a piece of aluminum. Then also had a fancy um, fishing lure with the triple hook still on it. Got an Apple iWatch. And then I had two earrings. Um, neither of them were precious, but um, this one had Sanrio marked on the back of it. And then uh, the bracelet. I had one token. And then this was the find that I got right at dark and I couldn't really tell what it was. It's like a little man. His back is made kind of like a zipper pull. Um, so really not sure what he is, but anyway, that was the dark find. And then I had, of course, tons of coins. I've got here all of these quarters, this row of dimes, three nickels, and four pennies. So it was a busy day of digging. Um, you guys stay tuned, and I'll see you at the next beach.